Love is Eat, and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to make Crock-Pot Mexican Chicken Spaghetti. It is a new recipe that I've been wanting to try, and I love using my Crock-Pot on busy days that I have a lot of cleaning to do, because it keeps my hands free, and when I'm all said and done with the cleaning, I don't have to cook my dinner, and it's already there waiting for me, nice and hot and bubbly in my Crock-Pot. Thank you so much for everyone that has subscribed to me in the past few days. I've gotten some new subscribers again. I appreciate each and every one of you helping my small channel grow. I'm hoping to reach 200. My goal is by New Year's, but not everybody who's stopping by is subscribing. So if you could take the time to look for that red subscribe word, please click on it and it'll turn to gray when you're officially subscribed. You don't need to tap the bell for future notifications, but that would help me out, so please tap the bell. Also, give the video a big thumbs up, and thank you so much for all the views. I would like to try in this new year to start getting between 50 and 100 views per video. I am a small certified channel. I have over 100 YouTube subscribers. I am going to hopefully buy a computer for my YouTube channel in the next couple of weeks, and I will be recording from my actual Nikon camera for my videos instead of my phone. And I'll have more space and uh, better quality videos coming up within the new, new year, so that's very exciting here. With that said, let's get right into the recipe. I'm going to start by shredding up the chicken a little further. You see here in my crock pot. Just using your kitchen shears, pull all, all the chicken off, and then discard the bones. You can save bones and make bone broth uh, soup or soup starters. I did that a couple weeks ago, and I froze it, so when I make chicken noodle soup next time, I have homemade bone broth. I'm not an avid meal prepper, but I prep things ahead of time and freeze them, and then just heat and eat. I do occasionally. I like to prep same day. I'm a stay-at-home mom and YouTuber, and I'm also a photographer. I do scenic and animal photos, as well as photos of human beings. All the larger pieces, you can cube it. by snipping it. These are simple shears that I picked up for the kitchen at the Dollar Tree. They are Betty Crocker brand. There's about two and a half cups of chicken in here. like it's going to be cubed down quite a bit and I got rid of the one bone if you have any New Year's resolutions for this year with cooking more at home cleaning decluttering minimalizing what you own put them in comments below I'd love to read them all right I'm gonna give my hands a quick wash and I'll be right back Moving on to the cutting part of my recipe, I am going to mince half an onion. I'm the only one awake in my household right now, other than my gerbil. She's the cutest little chubby little thing, and we just love her to pieces. I fed her and gave her some cardboard, and she scratching around her cage, making her nest a little bigger because it's cold out. I 
always cut in half and then I cut down long down the side. And then I chop them again. Until they're the size of the diced or the minced that I desire. My husband doesn't like a lot of onions. So this little bit will be good just for flavoring. And I can put in a teaspoon of onion soup mix just to make it more flavorful. I will have the full recipe in my description box below. And I'm just going to rinse my hands real quick. Because my eyes are burning a little bit. A new thing of celery at ShopRite, which is one of our local supermarkets. I'm going to cut the end off and rinse it. And I'm going to take out three. And I'm going to let them hang out for a minute in the sink to drip dry. Because then I'm going to wrap the rest of the paper towels and put them back in the bag. Now I do this because my celery will last up to a week longer. I do my celery about a half an inch thick to ensure that it is soft and easy to eat by the time dinner rolls around. We generally eat around four. I will not be adding the spaghetti to the crock pot, you can, but it becomes very mushy. And I like my spaghetti with just a little bit of bite. So we will boil the spaghetti approximately 45 minutes before we eat. I'll save those because my kid likes peanut butter on celery and some the log. I even put the leafy greens into the crock pot because that's where all the flavoring is of the celery. I'm taking the paper towel you're gonna try not to drop any and you're gonna wrap it around adjusting it and then just put it back into the bag. I find that the celery lasts longer and doesn't go brown as easily as it would unwrapped. Along with my knife onto the cans, I have two cans of cream of mushroom soup. And you don't dilute the cream soup. my mixed vegetables. Main ingredients of a casserole, I was always told, cream soups and more than three different kinds of vegetables. Now I'm going to let this rinse for about a minute. I'm going to get out my spices. Because this is going to be Mexican chicken spaghetti, I'm going to put in a tablespoon. It's not shaking very well. 
I'm putting a tablespoon, two tablespoons of taco seasoning, three teaspoons of crushed black cracked pepper, and three teaspoons of garlic. You may use measuring spoons, but because I've been using spices all my life, I am comfortable with eyeballing it. Always shake the colander before you transfer it over a floor so you don't accidentally slip and fall afterwards when walking back and forth. Now I'm going to mix this well. I'm going to set it to high for about an hour. And I'm going to put it to low for four to five hours. Letting this cook all the way through. And I'm going to add about a half a cup of water. Going around the rim of the crock pot. I'm getting my onion soup mix because it's in a different section of my food cabinets. teaspoon to two teaspoons. Here's what the Mexican chicken spaghetti looks like without the spaghetti. The spaghetti will be added in later today and I will add a photo at the end of the video with what it looks like with the spaghetti in it on a plate. It'll be nice and yummy for a very cold winter day at the end of December. I hope you all liked my recipe for Mexican chicken spaghetti. Please, at this time, subscribe for future crock pot videos as well as Dutch oven because I got a Dutch oven for Christmas from my husband and I did bake ziti, which I will link into the video below. And I'm going to be doing some Dutch oven recipes. You can learn to use the Dutch oven with me because I just got one for the first time ever. So I'm learning to use it and we can all learn to use it together. So definitely subscribe. The red word will turn to gray. Give my video a big thumbs up. And tap that bell for future notifications. And have a great day. I am going to assemble a chicken spaghetti casserole. As I mentioned, you can cook the spaghetti right into the casserole dish. I choose not to because I don't like my spaghetti mushy. I'm going to mix this well. And then I'm going to get a bowl. And I'll show you what it looks like. If you have taco cheese, you can add taco cheese on this. It would be delicious. Close up my crock pot here, and I'll show you what it looks like. Here's what the chicken Mexican spaghetti looks like, and I'll post the recipe in the description box as well as the Pinterest link.